tuketi katika viti zetu Nashukuru wa mama ambaye eh sijui tu aita TRV girls wanajina <laughs> Thank you so much kwa sababu ya kutafuta karama ambaye na kustoa iralia na, na mkubalishie wengine unajua wengine kama mama Stera ni wa hiyo group kama mama Mainana Jean ni wa hiyo hizo group so wakati mlajifunza mwaite na tuna make sure kwamba kila sande wape nafasi Kwa hivyo kama hata kuwa amejitayarisha eh atakuja tu hapa mbele then they dance for the lord then they go home Bwana asifiwe sana Praise the name of the lord So thank you so much for coming for hata kujite, kujite, kuja katika kanisa hili la eh, the Rose Victory Church nimekuwa nikifunza juu ya spiritual gifts na last sunday the other sunday what are these are last sunday tulikuwa tunajifunza about the spiritual gifts in the body of Christ spiritual gifts in the body of Christ na tukatazama mambo mengi katika ma prophesying ulikuwa unabii serving mhm serving serving ni kutumika na kufuna teaching is part of the gift ya ya karama za roho wa mtakatifu encouragement encouraging like how wote wanajua wale walikuwa wako walijua anajua hiyo na kama huku wako tafadhali you can go to the youtube or facebook type the name the rose victory church you will get us you get all the preaching there so that we may make a for up bonus fee so tulimalizia na spiritual gifts in the body of christ na num- number six was the leadership ban ban asifiwe leadership although siku siku ongea sana juu ya leadership kwa sababu ya wakati lakini leadership ni kipawa cha roho mtakatifu ban asifiwe before you can serve you must serve others before you can serve you must serve, serve others Amen. Ni nisome katika tu because of leadership you need explain it the other time. Nisome tu Exodus chapter number 18 verses 21. Exodus chapter 18 and verses 21. Musa kaambiwa na Mungu, select capable men from all the people men who fear god trustworthy men who hate dishonest gain and appoint them as officials of a thousands hundreds fifties and tens bwana asifiwe wawe eh, ni wakati ambapo Musa alikuto na baba yake in law eh, Jethro akiwa ya kwamba kazi yote ni anafanya pengine alikuwa ni yeye na, na ongoza prison worship ni anachukua sadaka ni anaongoza na program ni anahubiri ni anakata makesi bwana asifiwe akawa advised by the father in law ya kwamba select capable men men here means sons and you know sons and daughters are the same before god amen so select capable men from all the people men who fear god trust all the men who hate dishonesty watu ambaye wanaogopa Mungu watu ambaye wanaogopa Mungu ambaye then they, they, they hate dishonest gain and appoint them as officials over them so that they may serve as the leaders amen so ukiwa umequalify uh, ukitaka kujijua whether, whether you are a good leader uh, test yourself are you uh, do you fear god wewe unaogopa Mungu where are you trustworthy unaweza aminiwa mambo ambayo ni ya watu wengine are you are you dis, do you hate dishonest unadharau ama unadharau una eh, 
dishonest ni ni nini kutoaminika amen praise the name of the lord so you that's the, that's the time you become a good leader and because i had explained a little bit about it hata katika kitabu cha acts when the, the disciples told the 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 disciples waliambia kwamba waliosema kwamba chagueni watu ambao wanaojulikana na nyinyi watu wamejazwa katika roho mtakatifu watu ambaye wanaweza waachilio kazi ya tables amen we talked the other time and they, so that they may consecrate with the, with the word of prayer and the word so number seven, so i'm not going to deal with na, na leadership because i explained it the other time number seven, which is the last one is mercy the 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 gift of mercy gift of mercy gift of mercy in romans chapter 12 and verse 8 pare chini romans chapter 12 and verse 8 pare chini unena unaongea juu ya gift of mercy romans chapter 12 mm-hmm. if it is to show mercy do it cheerfully pare chini okay if it is to encourage then and give encouragement amen tuongea juu ya the gift of encouragement kuwa mtu wa kuencourage watu wengine unapoona mtu anatumia anatumia ana, anapitia katika mambo mazito unamuencourage amen and remember i said uh, somebody said uh, alikuta mtu mgonjwa akamwambia pole sana hii ugonjwa kuna mtu wetu alikuwa na hii ugonjwa na alikufa hiyo mm-hmm. that's not an encouragement amen you should be a somebody to encourage people So if it is an encourage then an encouragement if it is giving kama ni kupeana upeane then give generously if it is to read kama ni kuongoza kama vile tumesema the gift of a reader then lead it lead do it diligently if it is to show mercy do it cheerfully ningependa uweke hiyo hiyo that verse kwa Kiswahili so that mercy ni jue mercy ni huruma mhm Yes. Kama ni, ja, uh, kama ni jambo la kuhure la huruma na afanye hivyo kwa furaha. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. So, to those in distress, katika Luke chapter number 10 and verses 37. Luke chapter 10 and verses 37. Yesu akasema, he who showed mercy on him, then Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. Alipokuwa uh, anapeana anapeana msimfano yule mtu ambaye alikutwa kama ame, ame, amepigwa so akasema kwamba yule ambaye alionyeshana huruma akaambiwa kwamba then go and do likewise praise the name of the lord this church you know we are associated with the prison prisons are rift valley and what we have been doing although we have read tujafanya hivyo tumekuwa tukienda prison tunawapelekea i remember one time tulipikia watu wafungwa 1200 chapati na mandazi bwana asifiwe and that one gave us a name there kwa sababu tulio we showed mercy wengine walisema amekaa huko miaka 5 miaka 10 hajawahi kula chapati ama mandazi so they were very excited they were very happy praise the name of the lord that is showing mercy tulionyeshana huruma kwa hawa watu amen then to the poor katika proverb chapter number 14 and verses 31 Proverbs chapter number 14 and verses 31 Inasema hivi Whoever oppresses the poor shows contempt to the maker but whoever is kind to the needy honors honors God So he who oppresses the poor shows contempt of his for his maker and but he who is kind to the needy honors him To be kind ni kuonyeshana huruma kwa wale ambaye ni maskini. Amen. Unajua kuna wetu wengine hata chakula. Mhm. Kuna mtu nilimhubiri nilikuwa nasikiza jana juzi alikuwa anasema kwamba pahari ambapo alikuwa ayo kwa sababu alileo alizaliwa na mama bila baba. Alizaliwa na mama mama alikuwa ameolewa alikuwa kahaba. So ali alikaa alikaa kwa ma, kwa mapipa. And uh, one time they were wali, repair garage, car garage pahari so walikuwa naishi katika car garage lakini wa, kazi yao ni kupikia umbwa na anaambia kwamba unapopikia hii umbwa usikule hizo chakula lakini kibakisha ndio unakula 
Amen. But he's a great preacher today. He's known as Apostle Bernard. Born as fair son. If you go, go ukenda kwa YouTube, go go Apostle Bernard Tamkuta. And I felt so painful that, and he passed through many families, more than three families, more than five families. And up and down, Akuta Kwamba Nafanyo the same. Pengine wanaambiwa anapewa kazi ya kupika lakini chakula asiguze ila itabakia anaambiwa apelekea ameenda akamwaga kwa tang so as he was going kumwaga kwa tang ndio anajaribu kutoa nini asionekane ili akule ha show mercy bana asifiwe heri aliye na huruma kwa sababu mm, he is quite need honors god anaona ana, ana, anaheshimu mungu praise the name of the lord so and also in second corinthians chapter 1 verse you can write verses 3 to 7 by naongea juu ya comfort others with the comfort we have received yani you comfort others uonyeshe huruma wengine na vile wewe uliohurumiwa amen unajua tengine isipokuwa ni the masses of god you could not be the way you are you know where you are born from hata wengine walizaliwa katika jia ya umaskini bwana asifiwe sana i remember those days that you were you were young boys we were not hatukuwa tunavaa suruali tulikuwa tunavaa kishati kikubwa baba bro nakumbuka miaka hizo tulikuwa tunavaa kishati kikubwa bila suruali viatu tuliziona zi wakati mgani amen but god showed us to mercy had mercy with the with us So lazima na mimi niwe na hiyo masi na hiyo huruma kwa wale ambaye hawana. Amen. So tazama kumbuka hata kama wewe umekuja generation hii ya, ya, ya kuvaa viatu. Amen. Lakini juu ya kwamba pengine wazazi wako walitambika sana. May you repay the masses that, that God provided unto them. May you repay to the others because uh, uh, Mungu hakuwa ha, na deni ambaye alipishi. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So the last one is mercy, the gift of mercy. Heri kujua kama wakomba una the gift of mercy. Amen. Sijui ni jana ama ni siku gani somebody ni juzi somebody told us a friend of us told us ya kwamba ana hiyo huruma mingi sana. Alienda town akakuta mtu anapigwa pahali alafu akasema akaona akomba atamuua akaingia kwa duka hapo mbele kwa duka akauliza mzee yuko hapo kwa nini msihurumie kwa nini usiongee huyu mtu aacha kupigwa hata kama amekosa and no by her talking that man was saved and the scaries picked him bwana asifiwe because she had a gift of mercy so when you have a gift of mercy you thrive it kwa sababu kila mmoja ataulizwa nilikupea kipawa hiki na huko kufanya namna gani huko kutumikia may the lord help you to recognize which gift do you have ama gift gani ambayo Mungu amekupea amen hallelujah so i want to talk about something else the spirit gives one person the word of the foreign the spirit gives one person the word of the foreign in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 7 to 11 kuna karama ambaye zinakuwa katisa kama vile kuna zile karama za tunda na roho niliwaambia ilikuwa ngapi tisa bwana asifiwe nikaambia kuna zile inward upwards and mesahau bwana asifiwe sana so hizi zingine they are the gifts spirit gives the one pass on the word of the foreign in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 7 to 11 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 7 to 11 kuna mambo ambayo ina 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 pea verse 12 i mean verse 7 to 11 now each one of the manifestation of the spirit is given for the common good mhm to the, uh, to one that is given through the spirit of message wisdom that is number one. wisdom ni nini ni hekima amen so number one. kuna spirit kuna kipawa cha wisdom cha cha hekima ya kwamba unaona huyo mtu hata vile anaongea ana hekima amen so may the lord may you desire to have wisdom 
in your life. Number two, to another, a message of knowledge. Knowledge ni maarifa. Amen. Knowledge ni nini? Ni maarifa. And that's why the Bible says in Hosea 4, 6, Tulajua sana, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Watu wangu wanaangamia kwa sababu ya kosa nini? Maarifa. Unajua usi ukikosa maarifa, utapereko na upepo vumbao kukote. Ukisikia watu wanatembea, wanakimbio pande hii, unakimbio pande hiyo. Ukisikia wana prekesho pande hiyo mingine, unainama pande hiyo. You are racking uh, knowledge. Amen. So ni vizuri kuwa na wisdom, na hekima, na kuwa na nini, na maarifa. And then, by means of the same spirit, roho tu yule moja, tumewana hiyo nimbiri, wisdom and knowledge. To the one there is a, the, the, to the one to one there is given through the spirit a message of wisdom to another a message of knowledge and and by the means of the same spirit verse verse 9 to another faith faith ni nini ni imani amen kuwa na imani ni kipawa cha roho mtakatifu bwana asifiwe sana you know there are people who are faithless they don't have faith in themselves Na saa zingine kuna mtu mmoja aliniambia kwamba eh tulikuwa tunatafuta jambo fulani na ni yake. Anasema mimi mchungaji pengine mimi sina imani lakini nashuherera na, na, na nyonyerea imani yako. Kaambia just just be at my back. Mnyonyerea imani yangu and it will, it will come to pass. And later on hiyo kitu ikapatikana. Amen. So alikuwa anasema kwamba isipokuwa ni imani yake mimi sikuwa na imani but nikamwambia nataka kuambukiza haya hiyo imani. So to another faith by the same spirit. So this spirit inapeana eh, hekima, anapeana maarifa, anapeana imani. Hizo ni ngapi? So to another gift of hearing by that one spirit. To another gift of hearing. Unajua Karama ya kuponya. Bwana asifiwe. Is a gift from the spirit of God. So, it's good to desire the spirit of healing. But I have told you, kaba vile ni wambia kwamba, but healing inapatikana na yure ambaye, aware ambaye, wanajua kupereka chakura katika nyumba ya mungu. Amen. Hallelujah. So, is there is a condition but may the lord give you a gift of hearing may the lord prov- in in this church tunahitaji kuwa na hizo karama zote bwana asifiwe sana so okay you are safe amen praise the name of the lord so the gift of hearing the, the gift of hearing that is a uh, uh, gift of hearing and then to another Miracles to another miraculous powers to another miraculous powers miraculous powers ni kutenda mambo ambaye ni ni miujiza amen unakuta ya kwamba kuna miujiza imepatikana i know in this church god has given us all those easy karama zote sababu tumeona mungu akitenda makubwa tumekuwa na mase tume, tu, i mean tumekuwa na na imani ya kwamba whatever we pray for that God is doing it God has healed many here amen God has shown a lot of miracles and powers praise the name of the Lord i remember one one lady here one young girl came here hakuwa naongea amen and those who are there those times remember that we prayed for that girl akaongea amen that's a miraculous sign that is miraculous powers Bana asfia sana. Then to another prophecy, unabi. Amen. Hallelujah. To another what? Prophecy. So, desire one of these. Desire to get. Unajua kijua chiria bereza bwana. Tulisoma ya kwamba, hizi karama zote, wewe siwa tunambia mungu tataka hii. Ama kwa sababu, pastor wenu wana hii unataka hii. Amen. I remember sometimes uh, somebody came and told us alikuta dada zake wamejifungia nyumba wamesema kwamba wanaomba Mungu awape ishara kama ile those days I was an evangelist wanasema kwamba wanataka ku, 
lift up those powers that the evangelists have and they had they are required to fungia kwa nyumba more than 3 days akaambia itokai ikutagi hivyo hivyo amen lazima ujitakaze lazima waambie Mungu ya kwamba you don't usipende kama ile iko na mtu fulani haleluya kama wengine wasema kana na possess wakiona gari na huku jeni wasema na possess hiyo gari amen if you possess my vehicle kwamba gari ya pasta wewe pata hiyo ask you for yours pengine yako ni kubwa kushinda hiyo na possess praise the name of the lord haleluya it's good to possess lakini possess bigger than that Hallelujah. So the gift of prophecy. Mhm. To another distinguishing between spirits. Ku distinguish between spirit ni kusema interpret I mean uh, dis- ni kupambanua. Kiswahili so, mzuri ni gani? Nikupambanua kati ya roho mchafu na roho ambaye uh, roho wa Mungu. You know there are spirits that, that uh, that they 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 pretend like to be the spirit of of right while they are spirit of darkness lazima tuwe na roho ya kupambanua and and uh, kujua ya kwamba huyu ana operate na roho gani amen the other one is the uh, is the um, to another speaking in different kinds of tongues unakuta sikia leo anaongea na dimi hizi siku ya lingine anaongea na dimi hizi that still a, a, a gift from the spirit of god and to still to another the interpretation of tongue praise be to the name of the lord interpretation of tongue Una, unajua the bible says that uh, those who speak in tongues edifies themselves but if there is anyone who can interpret it amen it shall edify the church kwa hivi ni kumaanisha ukinena kwa dimi kuna hitaji wengine wa kupambanua I amini mean, wa ku interpret ni kusema namna gani kutafsiri amen praise the name of the lord let me want you hear something sometimes when somebody speaks in tongues don't say just amen if you are not understanding what she, she or he is saying unless i interpret praise the name of the lord unless you are convinced by the spirit of god that this person is speaking the right thing hallelujah am i understandable bonus fear so and in verse number number 11 says but the one the one and the same spirit works of all these distributing to each one separate as he desires that means each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as of, as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms kila mmoja atumike kipoa kile ambaye Mungu amempe kama ni ya masi kama ni ya ni ya knowledge kama ni ya discernment kama ni ya ni ya nini ni ya encouragement all the gifts that are spoken about are there ahead each one each one should use whatever gifts you have received to serve others as faithful stewards kwa sababu hiyo kipawa ni Mungu amekupe amen na amekupe ili utumikie watu bere za bwana because god has given you it is out of the god's grace that you have the various forms you can read in the book of first peter chapter 4 verses 10 to 11 First Peter chapter 4 verses 10 to 11 Amen Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others Kila mmoja atumie hicho kipawa ambao umepokea kutumikia wengine as faithful stewards of God grace in its various forms If anyone speaks If you know speaks they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. Kama unaongea, unaongea kama vile Mungu amekunenea. Na wale unajua neno usema katika ufunuo kwamba atakaye ongeza ataongezwa matoho. Amen. Na atakaye subtract. Bwana asifiwe. Sasa jima matoho ni nini? Praise the name of the Lord. So you should speak 
if anyone if, uh, he should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If or anyone serves, they should do so with the strength that uh, God provides, so that it so that in all things God is praised. Praise the name of the Lord. So, hallelujah, bonus fear. Verse 11. Praise through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. Bonus fear, sana. Kwa hivyo vipa azote. Zile zilikuwa katika 1 Corinthians 12, verse 7 to 11. Si udisaya kupata kipa moja. Si udisaya mungu wa kutumie. Yale kipa amba utapata kupe. And then... Each of us receives their is no praise for jealousy and competition. In the same Akoma, there is no praise for competition. There is no praise for jealousy. The Akoma is here, we are 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 here, Thank you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Banas fear. Ata shetani ya katai nazima hii fike kwa. That we are independent. We are not. We are independent. We are dependent to one on one another. Tuna tega mea hiyo mingine. Kwa sababu kila vipa ni razima ziyadamane pamoja. The nikasema verse is twenty one. Nasema the eyes can. The eye can can't tell the hand. I have no need for you. Amen. Or again, the head to the feet. I have no need for you. I am a kicho yambi a mugu ya koma sina na pala sina na 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 na. I have no need for you. So as a babu kicho ina bebo na mugu. Amen. Kira kiungo na nipoza wamepea na kama ni ni mtu. Ameongea juu ya macho, juu ya mikono. And they all work together. Kitore yako ikikato. Kichwa ndio mdomo ndio nasema ni mekato sana. Amen. So you are dependent to one another. All of us are equal. Equally need, needed and equally important. It, does, it doesn't matter who gets the credit as long as the job gets done and God gets the glory. This is what the Tuna, uh, we are equal. Amen. Na it doesn't matter nani ya metumika. Aidalishi nani ya litumika kufanya jamuhiri. Lakini provided mungu apeo utukufu. Whatever you are doing, whatever that the Lord has given unto you as a gift of the spirit, do it as if you are doing for God himself. Do it as uh, to please the law. Lakini usiwe na ubishano na muingine. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, miraculous sign. Remember, I spoke about the power without character. Amen. When you have this power without character, uta, utakufa kama Samson. Remember, in the book of Judges, chapter 14, chapter 15, chapter 16, 
ja, eh, na, eh, Samson Biblia husema ya kwamba wakati alipozaliwa akawa na amejazwa na nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu na alikuwa na nguvu amen hata lakini alimisuse because he had the power without the character he needed other gifts from other the parents remember hata wakati alisema alienda akawa kutoka huko wa priest mama yake na baba yake wakamuliza couldn't you not get somebody from within yani mtu ambaye ameokoka amen then he this one once our ladies and our, and our young men ya kwamba ni vizuri kama umeokoka hawezi enda kuwa msichana ambaye hajaokoka hata kupeleka kwa dhambi you are like a somebody ambaye yuko kwa mabati na unajaribu kuvuta mwenye wako kwa chini ili ili, ili mvuta akuja kwa mabati na yule mwenye wako chini anakuvuta nani atakayevuta mwingine si mwenye yuko chini so be careful with the, not to get power without character and you know the last minute Samson Biblia inasema ya kwamba alienda akarara aka under the bosom of a, of a prostitute. Amen. Hallelujah. You can imagine. I don't want to interpret that one in, in Kiswahili ama in, in, in other language. But you can imagine somebody sleeping at the bosom between the the, the bosom of the, of the of the prostitute. Then akarara na akapeana siri. Siri yake ilikuwa wakati kanywele. The power without character you will kill yourself amen unapoona watu ambaye they have they have the gift of healing gift of miracles but they have no character they just die like samson may the lord separate us from the power without character may he also give us character as he provides us with the gift of the spirit praise the name of the lord simpokea hii karama ni zetu katika jina la yesu number 2 I said you notice three things. Number two, we are dependent on one another. We are dependent on one another. Did I say that? Let me see. Okay. Num- num- that's number one. Number two, we are different from one another. Sisi ni tofauti, we are different from one another. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verses 12. The Bible says, "For as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body being many are one body so so also in Christ." That is verses 12 of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 12. We are different from one another. Sisi tuna tofauti ya watu mwingine mwingine. Kwa sababu kuna hiki power ya knowledge ya discernment ya 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 ya, ya wisdom amen praise the name of the lord so we are different from one another and then number three, because i want to rush takimbia kidogo we are in the we, we are to be devoted to one another we are to be devoted to one another to be devoted ni kufanya namna gani we are devoted to one another in verses 24 um, 24 to uh, 27 the 1st corinthian chapter of verses 24 oh, our, our media imekufa bana sfiwe verse uh, it says now you are the horrible now you are the body of christ and members individually so sisi ni mwili wa Kristo na tuko members individually the way you came into this door you came individually while well, our presentable past need no special treatment but God has put the body together giving greater honor to the parts of the, to the path that lacked it verse 25 so that there should be no division in the body but that its parts should have equal concerns for each other yani kila kipawa iwe na equal concern to each other if one part suffers every part suffers with it ukisikia dugu yako ameumia upande hii wewe hata nao unasikia kuumia amen ukisikia mwenzako anajaa hata wewe mwenyewe unasikia kwamba unajaa so that you may provide so if one part suffers 
every path suffers with it. If one path is honored, every path rejoices with it. Tuna unapo opata mtu mingine amebarikiwa. Rejoice with that person. Kama vile, kama unaona kama ni weo umebarikiwa. Hallelujah. Na unapo rejoice na mtu yo mwenye amebarikiwa, ata wea siku yako itaifita fika. Now you are the body of Christ. And each one of you is part of it. Hallelujah. Sasa wea ni mwiri wa Kristu. Na kira, kira kiungo, ki, eh, kira kiungo kime shikamanisho na hiyo mwiri wa Kristu. Wengine ni mkono, wengine ni macho. Amen. Wengine ni masikio, wengine ni miguu. Lakini zote tu, tu kiungo kimoja bere za bwana. Hallelujah. And that one says that uh, we must be in unity. We must love each other. Lazima tupendane. Ukisikia mwenzako ni mgonjwa, unamuombea siv, wewe ndio mgonjwa. Hallelujah. Ukisikia mwenzako na shida, unakimbia, unamtotulia shida kwa sababu nyinyi ni kiumdo kimoja. Lakini sio kusikia mtu fulani ana shida, unamchekelea ukisemaga ya kwamba eh, 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 ni Mungu amemtatiza. Do you remember the 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 friends of Job? Wale wazee watatu jua ine walikuwa marafiki ya Job. Biblia inasema ya kwamba walikuwa namwambia hii mambo wewe umekosea Mungu. Lakini later on Mungu akaambia kwamba sadaka yenu haiwezi kubarika mbele zangu. Praise the name of the Lord. Kwa sababu they judge their, 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 their one of their members long range. Hallelujah. Remember problem ya Job ilikuwa ni problem ya shetani na Mungu. Do you know sheta, Mungu aliinukia shetani. Akamwambia kwamba kuna mmoja ambaye ni mwelekevu. Kuna mmoja ambaye ana, ana, ana the gift of the spirit anazitimiza. Lakini shetani akamwambia ni peru huza ni jaribu hivi. So the uh, one was there kuja kumwambia kwamba umekosana na Mungu sijui umefanya namna gani umetendea watu vibaya lakini Mungu mwishoe and they went to give sacrifices Biblia inasema Mungu alikataa sadha bihu zao Amen Read the book of Job towards the end Biblia inasema kwamba Mungu ali reject their sacrifices Unajua there are time that God can reject your sacrifice They're according to their motive Nirudia kwa Kiswahili ya kwamba kuna wakati Mungu anaweza eh, kataa dhabihu yako kulingana na motive ama kulingana unatoa na motive gani hallelujah and that's the reason many people wanaangamia do you know when you, as a christian as you pray against the other christian unasema kwamba unaombea mwenzako vibaya that is what we call spiritual witchcraft you can imagine wewe unaitanishwa na mchawi oh my god hallelujah May there not be one of that that I'm preaching to today. Yote ambaye nalisikiza asiwe na roho ya hiyo spiritual witchcraft tuwe ya kwamba tunaombea wengine vizuri kwa sababu kila karama ina 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 ina, ina, ina bere za Bwana. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And God has pressed in the church first of all apostles hiyo tutafika tutakuja soma nyumae hapo nyuma kidogo. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you somewhere? Are you tired? Mhm. So, ninataka kurudi nyuma kidogo pahari tulisoma about 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 7 to 11. Pahari tulisoma mambo ya wisdom, knowledge. I want to interpret something more about there so that tusitoke tu hivyo. In about tulisoma the word of knowledge. Have you remember do you remember? tuachane na the word of wisdom kwa sababu nimesema interpret kidogo now the word of knowledge the word of knowledge this is a gift of revelation through all i mean all thought hii ni neno la ufunuo ama mawazo amen the word of knowledge you can write number one, the word of knowledge nitaongea juu ya chacha kidogo then then we pray amen This is a gift of revelation. The word of knowledge ne, ne eh, karama ya maarifa, si ni maarifa. 
is a word of revelation. Ni ufunuo ya mawazo. Amen. Na unajua ya kwamba watu wengi, they have the word of knowledge in them, but they don't exercise it. They don't know how ajui ya kwamba wana hiyo eh, eh, neema ama kipawa cha, ufu, eh, cha, ma, cha maalifa. Ama? Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana asfia sana. Kuna wengine hawajui havu. Sometimes you may be walking and then you have an anointed thought. Anointed thought ni kusema mawazo ambaye ni, ni anointed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mawazo ambaye ni akiungu. And when you are walking, let me tell you so one, one time what happened. The one time I was just walking and uh, na nilikuwa nime nimeamini Mungu kwa, kwa, kwa mashini fulani na akanipe na nikaamini ya Mungu ya kwamba wakati mashini itafika Kenya then I'll get a house to ya kuiweka so when it came nikaweka nyumbani nikasema hata sita hiyo totoa kwa container kwa sababu sijapata nyumba nikaamini bwana nikawa nikiomba sana nilikuwa nasikiza sauti lakini sauti haikuji amen I stayed for one month, for two months. The machine to me ifungia bado ijafunguliwa. Vile ilitoka tu Japan. Then later on, after three months, I was just walking. I had the word of knowledge on my way. Amen. Nikasikia sauti mawazo yangu ikisema ya kwamba I have given you this house. Bwana asifiwe. Then I exercised it. Kwa sababu I had read about the word of knowledge. Na nika exercise hiyo the, that word in my thought. Nika tazama nikaona nyumba ambayo ilikuwa karibu na pahari ilikuwa natembea. Nika simama pale. Nika ingia nikaenda nikasema hii nikaangalia nikasema the God I thank you kwa sababu umenipea hii nyumba. Na nimekugojea miaka miezi mitatu. Sasa umenipea. Ilikuwa na muhindi ilikuwa a, a, a whole I mean a, a supermarket of crockeries bwana asifiwe but i i obeyed the word of knowledge because nimewaambia is a revelation or a thought amen anointed thought nikaingia ndani nikakuta watu wananunua nikaanza kusema uh, nitagawanisha hapa nita nitaiweka mashini pale nikajikuta nika nimeingia na kwa store ndani na sikuulizwa kwa sababu it was anointed thought hallelujah Muindi akanitazama tu lakini hakuniongelesha so nikaanza nikatoka nika nje nikaanza kuambia God I thank you the word of knowledge desire to have the word of knowledge desire to have anointed thought hallelujah anointed tumesema ni, 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 ni mpako mtu ambaye ana upako wa waki, mawazo mawazo yako yeye na upako praise the name of the lord i pray for you that you may have the word of knowledge even when you are doing your doing your businesses i pray for you na kuombea kwamba mungu akupe anointed thought so that whatever you do you do it in godly praise the name of the lord hallelujah and then this is as natural and as is usual given to us through a gentle impression in the mind a picture which forms in our head or feeling inside our our soul or heart a picture ambaye kuna 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 picha inaletwa katika mawazo yako you can i can be praying here then in my in my mind nipate a picture ya mtu fulani ama picha yako amen if you trace that picture if it is anointed thought amen then know ya kwamba god is speaking to you Mungu sio lazima aongee kwa sauti. Hallelujah. Do you understand in this brethren? Bwana asifiwe sana. Anointed thought. Anoint uh, inaweza in kuja kama picture. Unapata picha ya kitu fulani. Amen. Unapopata picha ya kitu fulani, ombea hiyo picha. Praise the name of the Lord. Sometimes when I'm praying or when I'm preaching Sometimes I see a picture of somebody pengine akiwa na ufimbe katika tumbo yake and when I asked this person because I believe in anointed thought 
Ninakuta ya kwamba that person is there. If I don't do that, mimi mwenyewe naanza kusikia chungu pahali yanasikia. But when I pray about it, ninakuta ya kwamba yule amepona na mimi nimepona. May the Lord uplift you. May you never resist that gift of the spirit. Ya kia knowledge. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu mneno nasema watu wangu wanaangamia kwa sababu ya kosa maarifa. Unaweza kuwa unaenda safari Ukina, na uko kwa stage, upate matatu frani. Usikia kwamba hii sauti inakwambia usiingie hii matatu. Don't get in it. Amen. Kwa sababu haujui kwa nini Mungu anakataza wewe. Na unaposikia hivyo, just pray for those people who are in, inside there. Hallelujah. Si Mungu atusaidie. Si Mungu akupea hii upako. Ya kwamba hautaingia katika majaribu. Hautaanguka katika shimo ambayo imechimbiwa na adui. May the Lord azimbe hizo mashimo ambayo umewekewa mbele. Hallelujah. Do you know hata kuna pahari ambapo unaona ameandika dangerous is you black spot. Amen. Si Mungu akuzikie hiyo ma, 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 ma black spot ili ya kwamba wewe usi unapofika pale badala ya kuona black spot si the opposite of black spot ni ni, ni white spot. Bwana asifiwe sana. Igeuze black spot ni pahali ambapo kuna manajari. Geuza nena the blood of Jesus because the Lord has given you the power and the authority and the word of knowledge and that's why you shall not perish unajua this word that says my people perish for lack of knowledge sio kwa sababu umekosa tu maarifa ni kwa sababu umekataa kuyatumia hallelujah si mungu aamshe vipawa hizi si mungu aamshe vipawa hizi i pray for you the bible says in joel chapter 3 verse 9 joel chapter 3 verse 9 arouse the warrior that they may get in and attack There are warriors that are here. Kuna masuja, Joel chapter 3 verse 9. They proclaim this among the nation. Prepare for war. Louse the warriors. Amusha masuja. Let all the fighting men draw near and attack. Hallelujah. Amusha masuja. I know kuna masuja wa imani wamerara katika hii. Kuna wengine wanatutazama katika media. Wamerana lakini the Bible says I arouse the warrior. I am allowed sina amusha masuja sasa. Masuja wa maombezi, masuja wa imani, masuja ambayo they have the anointed thought and the word of revelation in them. Hallelujah. May you be aroused. Hallelujah and get in and attack. Neno inasema you get in and attack. Sio kukaa tu kana sema ya kwamba mimi is provided I'm praying for the sick in hospital sitaingia kwa sababu nitaumia. Amen. Just get in and attack. Sio kusema ya kwamba kwa sababu shetani tumeweka tume makataba na wewe. Provided you don't get into my gate. Wewe ukaage na huko nje. The Bible says get in and attack. Hallelujah. Uingie ndani na uattack. Oh hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. You know the Bible says in Jeremiah 48 and verses 10. Cast is a, is a man who keeps his sword dry. Jeremiah chapter number 48 and verses 10. Ameraaniwa. A curse on anyone who is racked in doing the Lord's work. Ameraaniwa yule ambaye ana anafanya ana he he racks in racks it ni nini? Ni udhaifu ambaye ana udhaifu ya kufanya kazi ya Bwana. Hallelujah. Kuna kazi ya Mungu katika miongoni mwetu. There are lot of work in, between, in, your, in your presence in the church. Na meraaniwa ambaye amefanya kazi ya Mungu kwa udhaifu. Amen. Then anasema ameraaniwa yule ambaye anaweka upanga wake kama hujapata damu. So when you get in and attack unapoingia ndani na kuattack si upanga wako utakuwa na damu. I know kwani imekuwa mzito sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na vile mnanitazama ni kama mmeshiko pahali. Hallelujah. Na kuombea katika jina la Yesu. Ya kwamba wewe hautaraaniwa kwa sababu umepata maarifa. You have now the, the spirit of knowledge in you. I pray for you that you may arouse yourself. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe sana. Yule ambaye alikuwa anaamka mapema kuomba asiwache kulala sasa. Wakati wa kuamuka ni sasa. Amen. Ili hii neno katika Jeremiah 48:10 isishike wewe. 
Bwana asifiwe. John chapter 1 and verses 48. Niliongea juu ya about the knowledge, word of knowledge. John chapter 1 verses 48. Inasema another nearly say to him, "How do you know me?" How do you know me? Jesus answered him, "Before Philip called you, when you are under the fig tree, I saw you." John chapter number 1 verses 48 I think. Huyu ni Yesu. Aliuliza eh aliuliza, "How do you know me?" Nathaniel asked. Aliuliza Yesu. Jesus answered, "I saw you while you are still under the fig tree before Philip called you." Bwana asifiwe. Alimuona. Kwa hivyo ni macho ya kiroho. The word of knowledge. Ilimuona. Amen. You know Mungu aongea, aongea kwa macho ya kawaida. Remember in the book of Joshua, Biblia inasema kwamba Mungu akaambia Joshua kwamba nimekupa tazama. The Bible says, "See that I have given up Jericho to you." Uone ya kwamba nimekupea Jericho. Na Jericho ilikuwa mbali. Macho yake ya mwili haingefika Jericho. Lakini Mungu anamwambia, "Tazama. Tazama uone nimekupea Jericho." Hallelujah. May the Lord open your eyes. May the Lord open your spiritual eyes to see what God has given unto you. What God has given before you so that you may get it. Hallelujah. Wengine wanatafutaga manyumba, wanatafutaga mashamba na walipewa zamani. Is only to go for it. Hallelujah. Wengine walimnatafutaga mali lakini wamefungika macho. May the Lord open up their eyes. The Bible says ya kwamba Jericho was given to Joshua when it was far away, miles and miles of and kilometers away. Lakini anamwambia, "See that I have given you Jericho." Si utazame ukipewa Jericho. Jericho ni ni ni, ni a city, a fortified city. Hallelujah. <coughs> Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. I don't want to pump a lot of things to you today. Amen. But pahari tumefika macho yako imefunguka. Hebu tusome John chapter number 4 verse 17. Inasema hivi. John chapter 4 verse 17. The woman answered, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, you said well, I have no husband. Unakumbuka yule mama msamaria ambaye Yesu alimwambia una wanaume wangapi? Una husband wangapi? Akamwambia sina. Amen. Akamwambia umesema vizuri ya kwamba hauna husband kwa sababu wale umekuwa nao sio wako. Hallelujah praise the name of the Lord. Alita, alitumia the word of knowledge. Kutazama na kuona. I think we need the word of knowledge. I think we need it. Hallelujah. So that we be, be able to discover chochote ambaye Mungu ametuwekea. Wengine hata wamenisumbua sana ni waombe lakini Mungu aliwanenea zamani. But ile kitu anahitajika ni anointed thought. Ni word of knowledge. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Si nimalize tu na hiyo. Nimalize na hiyo. Then um, you can write down Acts chapter number 5 verses 3 to 5. Matendo ya mitume 5, mstari wa 3 hadi wa 5. Bahari Petro aliambia Matendo ya mitume 5, mstari wa 3 hadi wa 5. Petro aliambia kina Ananias. Eh, Peter said Ananias How is it that Satan has so filled your heart that you have fried the Holy Spirit and you have kept yourself some some of the money you received for the land? Ni wakati we Mhm. Ananias aliona mtu ambaye anaitwa the son of encouragement. What was his name? Barnabas ama Barnabas. Amen akamuona akaliuza aka, shamba akaleta miguni za disciples naye naye na nayas akasafanya akasema the same akaenda akauza akaleta nusu yake sehemu yake akamwambia mimi nimeuza ile kitu yote nimeuza nimelete amen
akimwambia the word of knowledge kuona nani na Daniel akiwa amekea katika Apocalypse na miji Yesu akaona yule mama msamaria akiwa akomba wazee ambao walikuwa na wao walikuwa waenyewe Amen akamwambia akomba unaongea ukweli kwa sababu hao wazee the husband you have you have been claiming ni wazee wa wengine Haleluya. Na wakati Petro alipomwambia Ananias hivyo, Ananias alianguka akakufa. Bwana asifiwe sana. It is very long to cheat or to deceive the spirit of God. Amen. Mke wake akakuja alikuwa amejadiliana. Akakuja akamwambia kwamba I know you are listening to me. Amen. Haleluya. I know you are listening to me. Mke wa Ananias akakuja. Walikuwa na mpango na mpango ya kwamba watatoa hizo zile ambao wamegawa zingine na zingine wamewaacha without knowing that these men of god have the spirit of knowledge in them haleluya unapokuwa na the word of knowledge the spirit word of knowledge in you hautadanganyika one time one day nilikuwa natoka shule na in primary school tukapita kwa shamba ilikuwa imepandwa tomatoes eh, tukaingia kwa sababu tuliona hakuna watu tukakata nyanya tukiwa na vijana tuka tukakula zingine hata tulikulia kwa shamba tukashiba tukasema sasa tunafanya namna gani si tuweke kwa 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 bag twende tukikuraga bwana asifiwe without knowing that my mother had a spirit of knowledge in, in her Nilipofika kwa gate alikuja kambio akaniambia moro wa karoka moro haukuja Amen Akaniambia hizo nyanya umetoa umefaa nini ume, 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 umeweka kwa bag kwanza haku atiambia hizo nyanya umeweka kwa bag lazima ukatafute mwenyewe Praise the name of the Lord I desire to have such a spirit of knowledge to understand and to know the the time of God Hallelujah Bwana asifiwe sana. Next time we shall continue. Siko sababu ya wakati. Amen. Si hata mkipokea hii the spirit of knowledge si ni mzuri. Hata ukipokea hekima na upambanuzi discernment ili usidanganyike. You know the most of us here wamedanganywa na watu ambaye na maroho ambaye sio ya kiungu. And I'm fighting against this spirit. Amen. Mtu anakuja na kuambia umefanya hivi na hivi nani umefanya hivyo but you are unable to distinguish between the spirit of god and the spirit of of of, of satan may the lord empower you and put in you that distinguish uh, that discerning spirit and a spirit of knowledge in you amen sasa niwaambie namna gani bwana asifiwe si tusimame tuombe oh oh god Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord of mercy. We worship your name. Thank you Lord. As you stand because sikutaka udare. Let me say something about the spirit of discernment. The spirit of discern discerning of spirit. Discern ni tulisema ni ufunuzi. Mm. Because I want as we pray we also pray about it. The discernment spirit in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a car kama the spirit of knowledge na kuna mambo mawili ambayo nataka matatu ambayo nataka kusema the spirit of discernment this is a divine ability to tell the spirit for the spirit force behind the supernatural activity e could discern roho ya discernment discerning spirit ambayo tulisoma pale the wisdom the knowledge the discernment the discernment spirit ni ambaye inakueleza inakupamba inakujurisha yule ambao una deal na wao roho ambao una deal na yeye ni roho aina gani praise the name of the lord there are only three things i want to say number one, heaven and there the heavenly kuna, kuna the spirit of discernment ambaye spirit of heavenly the spirit from above yani una kuna roho ambaye ni wa mbinguni kutoka kwa Mungu the heavenly spirit so when you discern you na discern kama huyu ni roho wa Mungu ama ni roho wa nitaongea hizo roho zingine mbili bwana asifiwe sana so there is a heavenly spirit 
uh, the spirit of from heaven or from above and there is a human spirit one speaking out of his own heart unajua kuna watu wanaongea katika their own heart if you re- read ibn uh, yake hapo katika ezekiel 13:23 ambaye inasema ezekiel 13:23 about the human spirit one speaking out of his own heart yani mtu anaongea uh, anaongea kutokana na roho yake vile anamwambia sio the spirit of god son of a man prophesy against the prophets of israel who prophesies and say to those who prophesy yani naambia nenea wale wanabii ambao wanatabiri katika israeli from their own inspiration wanatabiri kutokana na na mawazo yao amen hear the word of the lord that says the lord god oh, ju- oh judgment is coming to the foolish prophets who are following their own spirit claiming to have this, to have seen things but have have in fact seen nothing hallelujah the human spirit discern the human spirit kuna watu ambao watakujia ama wengine wamekupitia they have the spirit of uh, the, uh, the forceful spirit ambaye ni, ni uh, wanaongea vile wanataka and they speak as if they are they, they are speaking from the god amen na biblia inasema they, they claim to have seen this but they have not in fact they have seen nothing hallelujah lazima wewe unaneneo una hao manabii upate roho ya discernment amen na ya mwisho ni hearing from the evil or evil one kuna 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 discernment tunatakiwa ku discern about hearing from the evil one he, i mean herish herish yani ki, ki her, herish herish yani kuzim amen from the evil one and the bible says in second chronicles chapter 18 verse 21 2 chronicles chapter 18 verse 21 then it says i will go second chronicles chapter 18 verses 21 mm-hmm. let me read mine he said i will go and i'll be a rain spirit in the mouth of all his prophets he said you will ent- entice him and he will prevail also also go and do so ni wakati mungu nabii mmoja aliitwa bere aliona entirety meenda bere za bwana akaulizo nani atakaye danganya ahab i mean atakaye entice ahab aende katika vita akakufie pale na biblia inasema huyu roho wa kwanza inasema hii pepo ikasema i'll make it amen nitaenda ninene roho nitaweka roho ya uongo katika manabii wa ahab wamwambia kwamba ukinapoenda pale utashinda the spirit of the herish spirit praise the name of the law you need to discern na hiyo roho ni aina gani kwa sababu alipofanya hivyo akaambiwa then go and do it aliweka roho ya uongo katika manabii wa ahab na si waliweza kudanganya ahab alienda akauliwa pale may you be may you have this discernment spirit to know the herish the, the heavenly and the human the herish the heavenly and the human praise the name of the law Unajua kuna hata shetani magonjwa zingine shetani ujilete in form of infirmity I mean, I mean anaweza jifanya ni mgo, mtu ni mgonjwa lakini anataka kukute, kukujaribu you have to have the spirit of discernment oh my god hallelujah may the lord give us that spirit may the lord not let us be punished katika jina la Yesu kwa nini usiniwe mikono yako for two minutes three minutes ambia bwana akupe kipawa hiki hizi vipawa ni zetu ametuahidia hizi vipawa they have ours they belong to us and the lord is saying he is ready to give us that those gifts of the holy spirit so that we may not perish so that we may not be cheated katika jina la Yesu my prayer today ni kwamba Mungu atazame aone kipawa chako the, the way that you can be able to carry the the, the gift that you can be able to carry to the whole and to work or to work for the kingdom of god if it is serving if it is mercy if it is giving if it is knowledge if it is wisdom 
if it is message, if it is a discernment, oh Lord, above all, may the Lord give us the spirit of discernment, the spirit of knowledge. Katika jina la Yesu, na naongea, na 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 neno la baraka, ya kwamba kwanzia siki ya leo, bwana akupe, roho ya discernment, roho mungu akupe, roho ya knowledge, mungu akupe, the spirit of revelation, that you may be able to understand, to have an anointed thought in yourself. Many are the people ambayo wame 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 umia wengine wame nyaganyo marizao kwa sababu walitanganyika. They entered into evil to bad businesses, to bad characters, to bad company. Lakini wa kuweza kujua. May the Lord give you the spirit of discernment. May the Lord give you the spirit of knowledge that you may be able to distinguish between the evil and the good one. Katika jina la Yesu. Nina kutaza mabwana. Baba alehema. You spoke to your servant that I may teach about this gift of law. I have done it our redeemer. Now in the name of Jesus, for those who are ready, for those who are saying, Lord, can you give me? Can you award me? Wari ambona sema, bwana, kwa nini mimi usini unipite? Bwana sikupite. May the Lord give you. Ili usingie katika majaribu. Usingie katika miongoni mwa watu ambaye ni wadharimu. Bila kupambanua. Bila kujua. May the Lord give you. Rapa raba shaka tamazaya. In the name of Jesus Christ. Katika jina la Yesu. Natangaza ya komba siki ya leo. Kuna nguvu kwa wari ambao na otamani. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. We surrender before you, dear our God. That my Lord, you may have mercy upon us. Sometimes we get into problems without knowledge. Sometimes we get into difficulties. Tunajingisha katika mambo mazito. Bira kujua. Waschano amejingisha katika mambo mazito. Vijano amejingisha. Wazeo amejingisha. Wamamo amejingisha. Buono alehema. Kwanzia siki ya leo. We are knowledgeable. May you dear father give unto us today that Lord the gift of the spirit so that we may utilize them. Kati kajina la Yesu. Kati kajina la Yesu. Kanisa tuinuya mikono zetu. Kwerekesha madhabahu. Father in Jesus name. I want to thank you for the word of today and for the teaching of the, about the, spirit, the gift of the spirit. Father in Jesus name. The Bible says that these gifts are given to men. They are given to your church. Lord I pray in the name of Jesus. Born alahema. Tua inua mikono zetu. In form of surrender. Tumekata. Kuingia katika miongoni. Mwa watu wa tharimu. Bira kusujudia. Tumekata. Kata kufanya dira mbae ni za kishetani. Kuingia katika mambo maovu. Bira kusujudia. Tunaomba pono alehema. Tupe that knowledge. Tupe that anointed thought. Tupe that discernment spirit. So that we may be able to discern the heavenly spirit. The heritage spirit. Then the human spirit of God. Katika jina la Yesu. Tua kuinulia mikono ze tuju. Bona utazame. We desire Lord. We desire Lord. We desire Lord. We desire the miraculous sign. We desire the spirit of miracles. We desire all the nine miracles, Lord. All the nine spirit gifts in the name of Jesus. What one be a kwamba? Hatu tangengana. Hatu takua na unua dui. Kosa babu ni mingi. Kati kajina la yesu. Na wachiri asasa. I release now oh God I release by the power and authority that you have given upon me I release the power 
and the gift of knowledge. I release the power and the gift of discernment. I release the power and the gift of mercy, the gift of wisdom upon your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, have mercy upon your people. Kati kajinala Yesu. Lord, have mercy. Raparamashanda. Rekererere bozaya. Rikatayando bozekiri bazaya. In the name of Jesus. May you receive your gift now. Receive your gift now. Tumekata. Wewe kuingia katika mambo. Ambaye si istahiri. Na kudanganywa na kuingia katika groups ambaye sio za kiungu wana kujifichia bila wewe kujua may the lord open up your mind may the lord open up your mind may the lord open up your spirit rapa rama shakata raba zaya rikeriba shandara mazeria rikata yandobo zeka in the name of jesus tunakata tunakata kuingia katika ha- ambaye sio za kiungu tumashikwa katika mambo machavu tumeshikwa katika mambo ambaye hatungetaka kuingia katika jina la Yesu mm. Lord I thank you wengine wamedanganywa wameingia katika biashara ambaye hawakujua ya kwamba hizi biashara nao walitakiwa kuwa kond lakini Mungu amekuteua amekupa sasa that's discernment spirit you shall not get in my god my god my god my god ninaona watu wengi wameria kwa sababu ya kuingia katika grouping ambaye pengine ume, ume, una, 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 umejuta umeingia katika group za watu ambaye si wa kiungu umeingia katika groups ambayo wanakutendea maovu behind your back may the lord approve to you now akutoe sasa ninatangaza akutoe akutoe sasa my god ripokotaya mayanda ripokotaya mazaya rimazekeri bashandara mayanda in the name of jesus ninakutoa pale Biblia inasema mwizi akishikwa kama meiba na aripe mara saba ninatangaza chochote yako ambaye ripiwa ambaye linyakuliwa ambaye ilienda by conning machine katika jina la Yesu itoke ichipuke oh god oh god mm shatayando bozeri bashandara bazaya Ori kata yando boze keri baba zai Lord I thank you thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Jesus thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord Oh my God wengine wote tuweke mikono zetu chini ni just let just raise the hand ambaye umekuwa uliingia katika mambo ambaye haukujua sio mazuri lakini ukiwa katikati hao ndio mnagundua you have been conned you have been umeingia katika ushirika ambaye sio ushirika wa kiungu i want to pray for you wherever you are just raise your hands there up in jesus name thank you for those hands lord rama shakayando bozekeri baganda likataya mazeri bashanda rabayanda wengine mungu aliwanenea that anointed thought lakini wakafikiria ya kwamba ni mawazo yao lakini Mungu aliwatakia destiny nzuri kushinda hiyo may you also raise your hand up i know you are there the lord has been speaking to you lakini unapuuza may you raise your hand there father in jesus name i want to pray for those raising their hands because Mungu aliwanenea wakapuuza lakini Mungu bado anaendelea kukunenea katika jinsi so that you may be clear with the voice of God in the name of Jesus Christ everlasting father in Jesus name i commit those that lays their lays in their hands before you lord of mercy they entered into a, a businesses which was not godly they were conned they entered into things that they are not uh, they, they they were not desiring to do it law but because of problem and because of that enticement father lord they found themselves in them now in the name of jesus whatever they lost whatever they lost there 
tunatangaza ya kwamba it must be repaid seven times it is your one in the name of Jesus Christ i pray for those that lord umewanenea katika the word of knowledge umewanenea katika discernment spirit father in Jesus name lakini wamepuza naombea kibari chako forgive them dear father in the name of Jesus Christ lord i thank you i exalt your name wengine wamwatuma ili wafanye kazi yako lakini bwana wa rehema hawangekubali kwa sababu hawakuamini ni wewe ulionenea ninakuombea sasa Mungu akusamehe oh lord i pray let this word of knowledge have an impact in you katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu if you are there just say rise up wengine watatusimame as we finish up in jesus name thank you lord thank you lord are you there na ujaokoka na ungependa kupokea Yesu kama mkombozi na kimbilio la maisha lako. If you are there, just raise your hand wherever you are. Una tungependa kuokoka. Ni vibaya nikikuhubiria mambo ya karama ya Roho Mtakatifu, lakini nisikupe nafasi ya kuokoka, kujipeana maisha yako kwa Bwana. Are you there? We pray together. If you are there, just raise your hands. If you are there, you feel that the Lord is saying speaking to you, ya kwamba you need to be born again umepitia katika changamoto umepitia katika mambo mazito lakini hata Mungu amekunenea ya kwamba anahitaji roho yako ili umfanyie kazi lakini wewe bado umeendelea kuangalia to turn the away, away from the voice of God are you there that you may raise your hands we pray together if you are not there leave you all, you will be able to stand let us all rise up oh god we thank you lord we thank you Baba mtakatifu naachilia baraka zako ambaye Bwana wa rehema umenena pamoja nasi kupitia e, neno lako naomba ya kwamba Bwana wa rehema that message is potere katika jina la Yesu <coughs> let them dear father be hearers of the word and be doers of your word in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that in this church oh God and the church uh, the, the media church those that the lord are listening and seeing us in the media father in jesus name we pray for them ya kwamba wataamuka ili bwana waingie ndani ili wakatakate na waweze kuingia ndani warete watu ambao wamepotea katika jina la Yesu vipawa bwana ambaye zimerara hapa ninaziamsha ninazinenea ziamuke sasa katika jina la Yesu baraka za Mungu ziwe juu ya maisha yako katika jina la Yesu tunatangaza ya kwamba mfano wa ajabu hizi karama zote before we finish the message of God yutajitukuza kwa sababu flood of mercy you have spoken to me in the past that there are many people here who shall you shall feel with the gift of uh, uh, interpre- interpreting of the tongue and many gifts that are there you have spoken to me it is not in vain to teach this message oh god because it is coming to pass katika jina la Yesu natangaza ya kwamba kuanzia leo bwana wa rehema kusiwe yoyote ambaye atadanganywa ambaye atadanganyika na roho mchafu roho wa binadamu a human spirit a hellish spirit but they shall receive the spirit from above the spirit of god and the discerning spirit in the name of jesus christ ninatangaza ya kwamba hata watu wao ambao wa they are represented here watatoka ndani ya ile shimo ametupo mbale na mapepo na maroho ambayo sio ya kiungu tumewachomoa they are part of us our children are part of us tazama kuna mama wanalia kwa sababu ya watoto wao kwa sababu ya vijana wao wasichana wao wameingia katika mbali ambao sio pazuri tunawachomoa by the faith that you have given us tunawachomoa pale tunawachomoa pale by fire by fire by your word katika jina la Yesu tuwatangaze ya kwamba kuanzia leo tumebarikiwa tumebarikiwa tunapoenda nyumbani tunabarikiwa tunapoenda kazini tunabarikiwa tunaposafiri tunapolala tunapoamka tumebarikiwa naye kazi ya mikono zako na zinenea sasa bwana azibariki may the lord bless the works of your hand katika jina la Yesu neno lasema ya kwamba is i the lord that gives us the ability to make the world may the lord give you the ability 
to make the wealth of this world. Katika jina la Yesu, fedha na dhahabu zikuwe juu yako. Katika jina la Yesu, isipote uwe urafiki nazo kwa sababu unapofua nazo Mungu wa nyumba ya Bwana itakuwa na chakula ya kutosha. Katika jina la Yesu na baraka za Bwana zikae juu yako. May the Lord bless you. May the face of God shine upon you now and for the time to come. In the name of the Father God, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Shout amen. Tupigia Yesu makofi.